have a little butterflies and this video is going to be a real talk video it wasn't going to it didn't originally in my head it wasn't starting out as a real talk video i just wanted to address what was going on at the beginning of my book haul but really sitting around and thinking about it it's going to be a real talk video because it's just i feel like what i have to say i don't think it's going to be super long but it's it's not gonna be something that's like a minute either so i just figured i just make it its own video and make it a real talk video and we can discuss we can have that discussion in the comments a civilized discussion in the comments because i know some people with the topic of black life matters and everything that's going on right now are very civilized when it comes to that conversation so if you can't have an adult civilized conversation stay out of my comments thank you so I just wanted to say and you know I just wanted to make the statement of that with the with with the Black Lives Matter movement with everything going on the riots and everything that's going on right now in the protests don't take don't start up that all lives matter bullshit I'm not saying that all lives don't matter but when we say black lives matter it kind of feels like you're saying oh well, boo -hoo, all lives matter too and that's not what it is. Yes, all lives matter, but until you acknowledge that black lives matter too, all lives don't matter. Because our lives are part of all lives matter as well. So, and I feel like people try to brush past the fact that black lives don't matter to a lot of people. They try to brush past the fact that racism is still a thing. They try to brush past the fact that police brutality is still a thing in 20 fucking 20. And it's a normal thing. And that's the thing that's pissing people off because it's more of a normal reoccurrence today. That's it's like it shouldn't be something normal. That should be something, if it even happens, it should be rare. It's 2020 and it's something that's becoming the new normal and that is a problem. We shouldn't still be having these issues. So when we say Black Lives Matter, don't take that as a hit on, oh, y'all lives matter more than ours because it's not, that's not, my life matters just as much as your life does because you're white. My black life matters just as much as your white life, as much as your privileged life. That's all we're saying. Our life matters just as much. We shouldn't be treated on a different level because our skin is darker because we produce more melanin than you do. That it should be the exact same playing field. Because how many times have you guys seen Caucasian people go and shoot up a fucking church and they walked him out in handcuffs? They didn't even kill him. If he would have been black, y'all know good and well he'd have been dead on sight. Walked him out in handcuffs. If that's not privilege, I don't know what the hell is. How many white people have committed crimes shooting, being mass shooters and they put handcuffs on them? Meanwhile, our black brothers and sisters don't have any weapons on them, not doing anything wrong, and you choked them to death. You didn't shot them because, oh, I thought they had a weapon and there was no weapon. People are tired of it. And that brings me to the riots. That's why the riots are happen happening. People are tired. You know when people say when, you, when you've had enough, you've had enough? The black community has had enough. Like, they're tired. They're tired of the same thing happening over and over and over again. And then the people that do it, they just get a slap on the wrist. And there's no real consequence. Yes, they arrested. They arrested this police officer. And they're charging him with murder. But that's after all of the shit blew up. And now, it's, oh, now let's arrest him. Oh, now let's charge him with stuff. I'm not saying that stuff like that don't take time. Because it does. I know it's not something that happens just like that. But looking at that video, you automatically knew he was wrong. He should have automatically been arrested. It shouldn't have just been, oh, you're fired for now. Stay home. No, it should have been arrest him right now. It shouldn't have been of, oh, we have to wait and investigate. Look at Looking at the video, the day you find him should have been the day he should have been in handcuffs. That, that should have just been that. I'm not in the legal system. I have, I know, have no idea. I know it's a process, but still. With that, it should have automatically been where you're going to be in handcuffs until we do our investigation and figure it out. Because how many times that's done the normal citizen? There's a fear in the black community that police officers are going to keep being able to do stuff like this. And they just get a slap on the wrist. And that's why people are rioting. Because they're tired of that. This shouldn't be a normal thing to happen. And yeah, you can look at it and say, oh, they're tearing up their own community. That's not going to solve the... Shut up. 
Yes, they're tearing up their own community, but it's their community, the people that's in their community, the, the police officers that's supposed to keep their community safe, that's making them feel this way. How can you feel safe with the people that's killing you? You you understand what I'm like? It, can you see what I'm saying? Like why when something happens, why would they call the police when the police just killed someone in their community for doing absolutely nothing? That brings out rage in people. People are tired. How long have people peacefully protested this police brutality? Years. People have been peaceful about it and protesting, doing um. Shit, I can't think of, I'm having a whole brain fart here. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But people have been, it's just, we've been peaceful and we haven't gotten anywhere. Because it's still happening. There's like no law set in place to protect people from the police brutality. And you shouldn't need protection from the police. The police should be doing their protection. But, and I'm speaking a person that's married to a police officer. My daughter's godfather is a police officer. I went to school with a lot of people that are now police officers. So I'm I'm in a place where I'm not like I'm 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 in a good space to not be judgmental towards one side. And I'm all for I'm all for corporal punishment. I would never do Drew duty a day in my life because I 100 percent believe in an eye for an eye. Whatever happened to that person needs to happen to you. If you kill somebody then your ass needs a death row for you too. Like, I just feel like you don't, I don't think it's fair that you get to live out the rest of your life in prison with a roof over your head, three meals a day, clothes on your back. You still get to talk to your family. Your family still gets to come and visit you. Meanwhile, this person that you killed, they don't, their family gets none of that. So I 100% believe in that. My only pro the only thing I don't agree with is I heard that 12 Dallas police officers was killed yesterday in riots. That I don't agree with. Just because, yes, not all police officers are those police officers, those racist police officers. Some of them ride hard just for us, the same way we ride for us. So I don't believe in just going out and just killing somebody because they have a uniform on. That's not, that's not going to help the cause. That's not going to make things better. Now, I'm probably, and it's probably because I'm upset. It's probably, I shouldn't even say it, but I could, I wouldn't. I would understand if you bought it to the people that was actually doing it. The actual police officers that are doing it and give them a taste of their own medicine. But that's me. I might be speaking out of anger. I'm not saying that, yeah, go find them. But my thing is don't, just like we don't want them to kill our innocent people, don't go and take that out on the police officers that's not doing it. And I think a lot of people are upset with police officers because they feel like they need to come on social media and defend themselves. That's not the problem. Our problem is not with you saying, oh, I'm a police officer and, you know, I don't condone any of this and I'm not like that. And I, that's not, it's, stop. We understand that not all police officers are like this. Not all police officers do this. But we want you to come on social media. We want you to come out and not, not defend yourself, but defend us. Come out on social media and be like, yeah, this was wrong, period. That's not how that should have been handled. This is how this situation should have been handled. This is how we're trained to handle this situation. Because the way that he was on his neck was completely wrong. He shouldn't have, first of all, you're not supposed to be directly on a person's neck. And you're not supposed to put all your weight on them so they can breathe. And on top of that, there was three other police officers there. So there was no need for him to even have him in that hold as if he was by himself. He was already in handcuffs. You could have politely sit him in the back of the car until y'all figure things out but you're on his neck of course i'm gonna resist you if i can't breathe i'm trying to get you off of me so that whole situation was headed wrong that's what we want police officers to come out and address address that this is fucked up and that we don't condone this shit come out and say that don't come out and defend yourself we don't need you to defend yourself we know that if all of y'all are not that way we know that that's not a shock to us we we don't think all police officers are like that we know that but don't be silent about the shit either. Actually come out and say this is how it should have went. That situation was handled completely wrong. So you call him because they're accusing him of stealing. You put him in handcuffs. Or you can uh, come up to him and in a, in a, like hey this is the situation. We're just checking on it. And sit him to the side while y'all figure it out. I don't know why all the route of this was even needed. It was, it was completely mishandled. The whole situation. 
that's the kind of stuff we want the police to come on on social media and talk about address how wrong the situation was handled how it should have been handled not oh i'm a police officer and i'm not like that we know that thank you but we don't need that that's not what we're looking for that's why if you're going to come on social media and say that stay off don't say anything but yeah i don't agree with the killing of the police officers just because you see somebody in a uniform that don't mean they're like that because I grew up with people, like I said, I, I, I went to school with people that are police officers now that I know are cool as hell. Even growing up in school, because we had police officers at our schools, they were cool as hell. They would play around and clown around with us and everything else. White and black. Not even saying just the black officers, white officers too. Yes, everybody has their racist officers, but don't take that out on all of them because it's not, it's not, some of them ride hard for us. They ride just as hard for us. So don't go out there just killing just to kill. And some of them became police officers and they wear their uniform for the reason they're supposed to. Because they want to protect us. They want they want to do what their children's dream is to protect and serve. And keep the peace and get back to their community. Some of them took that oath just for that. The right reasons. Not all of them. But some of them did. So don't punish the ones that did. And not the ones that didn't. Because the ones that are... Doing the racist still shit, still out there, and y'all killing the people that's not. That's that's the only part I don't agree with. Everything else, even the riots. Yes, people can sit back and say, "Well, the riots is wrong," but I understand why they riot. They're pissed. They're tired. They're sick of the bullshit. You don't want to hear them when they peaceful, so you gonna hear us when we mad, and that's what that's about. Not saying that it's right, but that's what it's about. And even then, something they didn't show. That same community pulled, pulled together to clean the shit up. I don't know if it was the very next day, but they pulled together. They had pictures and videos of them cleaning up Target and cleaning up the shit that was, that was looted. They, they was cleaning it up. So yes, you do shit, you do it out of anger. People sit back and realize, okay, maybe we shouldn't have went that far. But they got it out of their fucking system. And until other people do something about it, and it's not even just about people protesting, everybody needs to do something. Everybody, especially people that have that privilege, use your privilege for something good. I'm not saying you need to go out there and protest because that's not everybody's scene. I'm black and I've never been to a protest a day in my life. Not saying that I wouldn't go, but I can't push you to go say, oh, you need to go to a protest. I've never been to one. But you're on social media all day, you're on YouTube doing videos, and you can use your platform to bring awareness to it. What are you doing to bring awareness to it if you care so much? Use your platform, use your privilege. To get things out there, to get awareness out there, to put it in people's face, you know? And white people don't get offended. <laughs> like, if you know you're not part of the pro like, I ain't gonna say you're not part of the problem, but if you know you're not that racist person, don't get offended. Like, but I'm not racist. All white people aren't racist. We know that. We know all white people aren't racist, just like we know all black people aren't criminals. All black people are not gonna rob you. All black people aren't gonna steal from you. All black people aren't gonna kill you. We know all white people aren't racist. We know that, fuck, we got black people in our own community that are racist towards us, that self-hate. So we know not everybody is the same way, we know that. But what are you doing? Don't be, don't remain silent. If you care so much about your black friends and, you know, the black people that are in your life and the people of color that are in your life, and you know, and I think a lot of people's problem is that white people don't admit that they have that privilege. They have that white privilege. It don't matter if you grew up rich with a spoon in your mouth or poor in a trailer park with other people. Your skin is still white. You're always going to have that kind of privilege. It don't have to be money. You have skin privilege. And I think a lot of white people want to admit that they have that privilege. You don't have to deal with the same problems that your black schoolmate might have to deal with. Like your black partner. You don't have to deal with those same issues as they do. So acknowledge that you have some kind of privilege. And use that privilege to help people. Don't just sit back and, oh, I don't have a privilege. You do. Whether you want to admit it or not, you do. No matter what your financial situation is, you have the privilege of having white skin. So people don't look at you differently off top. People don't automatically assume you up to no good because you're white. That's a privilege today. 2020, that is still a privilege. Oh, God, y'all. Like, um, I hope I said everything I want to say. If not, it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure I'll come make it another video and bring it up again. It's just, people, it's tiring. This should not be a normal thing still going on. If we're not getting killed, we're getting kidnapped. Like, we're getting stolen. Like, you know how many black females are missing? Children, too? 
that are missing. Like I remember when you could just let your children go outside and play and you didn't have to watch them. You didn't even have to worry about anybody taking them. Now it's like you could be outside with them and you gotta be on them like glue. It's I'm a little person. I'm 5'1 between 147 and 150 pounds. Okay? I'm not I'm not a big girl. I'm tiny. So if somebody really wanted to take me, you know how quick you can snatch me. Not saying that it's gonna be easy because you're gonna either have to give me back or kill me, because I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. Cause I know me. But still, if somebody wants to take me, you could take me. Like you could snatch my ass when I ain't paying attention. I'ma fight back and I'ma talk shit, but you're gonna either have to kill me or kick me the fuck out. Kalea is so friendly. And she's three. She's friendly, but she's not gonna just go at anybody. But she would smile at you and she would talk with you. So it's like I have to worry about somebody if I'm not looking at my child, where's my child? Thinking somebody that is gonna take my child. They snatching babies out of baskets these days. They don't care. It's just, it's 2020. This is not, this should not be going on in 2020. It shouldn't, but it is. And people need to acknowledge that just because it's not directly affecting you, it's not directly at your doorstep, don't mean it's not a problem. It's just not a problem for you. But it's a problem. So, um, yeah, we could talk, we could have a discussion, we could have a debate in the comments. Like I said, keep it civilized or stay the hell out of my comments. If you can't, if we can't have a civilized adult conversation, you will be blocked. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to condone it. So we can have a conversation. We can have a debate. You know, but like I say, keep it civilized and be like adults. Don't be childish in my comments. Okay? All right. Thank y'all very much for watching my video. And um, let's get a real discussion uh, popping in the comments. And I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.